Hello YouTube, what's really good? My name is Vivid Color, and I'm back today with the 18th episode of my Pokemon Moon Let's Play. And if you weren't here for the last episode, there's a link in the description down below. And, you know, I just, I don't want to spoil this one for you. I'm, I'm going to, of course, after I sort of strongly suggest that you go click the link. But, uh, we did a lot of cool things, and it would be kind of a shame if you didn't watch that episode. Anyways, I, I guess, I guess I'll let you know, uh, like, I'll let you in on what we did. Um... <laughs> In the last episode, we made our way to the Lush Jungle after kind of like dirling around for a little bit. We made our way to the Lush Jungle, we met Mallow, and we sort of decimated her trial. I think it wasn't... I, I heard it was going to be sort of like incredibly, incredibly hard, and it definitely wasn't easy, but we made it through a lot easier than I thought we would, and I think that's mostly in part to um, Ivan being kind of a boss, and also to Lemon being... Uh, incredibly fast and having a really high special attack stat and that's that's kind of how we got through it um I don't want to spoil too much more than that uh, other than that not a lot happened at the end of the episode I said that I wanted to catch an Oranguru because I knew it was in the Lush Jungle and we whiffed I gave myself three encounters plus an additional encounter because it was anticlimactic and we just whiffed but uh, in between the recordings of these episodes while I was doing some other things I kind of just ran around and caught everything in the forest that I hadn't kind of caught yet um, and I eventually ran into an Oranguru. So now we have one. It's in the box. I, I'm not going to use it yet. I may or may not. Also, I feel like it would have been really, really, really easy to nickname that thing Harambe, but I, I, I refused to. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, and you should be proud of me that I did not do it. So, I'm going to try and catch this one pod. I'm not entirely sure if this is how you're supposed to go about it. But I'm going to try and catch a swim pod before I move on to the next area. And by that, I don't really know where the next area is, but there should be an arrow that'll pop up on our map that'll let us know. I'm assuming we just have to keep it from going in this hole, right? Okay, okay. Ooh, we got it. I think I'm just going to throw a quick ball at this guy. I can't imagine his catch rate is super high, because I know if we hurt him too much, he'll, he'll just, you know, run away. He'll wimp out, I think is the ability. And we do not want that to happen. We want this guy to go straight to the box. Or sorry, this gal. Galiciopod is a monster of a Pokemon, and it looks like a monster of a Pokemon. But I kind of doubt we're going to be using this guy. What is this? This is bug type Pokemon. It's a water bug, so is it like, is it super, super effective? Let's try that. Let's try a net ball. Net balls look cooler than uh, quick balls by a fair bit, so. Okay. All right, so that didn't go as planned. I'm mm, I this thing probably can't just like eat up a razor leaf, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that is not a thing Limpod can do. Let's see. Uh, I, I feel like no matter what I do to you, it's gonna have health you. Let's try Astonish. We have an attack reducing nature that I thought was great at the beginning of this game. Okay, that's l literally probably as much damage as we can reasonably do to this guy. That's probably our, our, like, absolute limit. Let's try another netball. I should have just thrown a quick ball. I should have just thrown a quick ball. I, I just, you know, I saw a netball, and netballs are a lot more attractive than quick balls. It, it doesn't even matter. Like, these aren't, this isn't my competitive, like, I'm gonna take on VGC North America team. This is an in-game team. This is an in-game team, Vivid. You don't have to be so worried about these types of things. Also, that's the first time I've ever referred to myself while speaking in a video as Vivid, other than saying, Hi, my name is Invivid Color, uh, and it's kind of weird. I, I I did a collaboration video with a dude named Highlander, and I should start putting his links in videos when I mention him. His link's going to be in the description down below. I did a collaboration video with him the other day, which should be up, ah, give or take, whenever this video goes up, uh, sometime this week if it hasn't already come out. So, um, <laughs> re really, really vague uh, time slots here. I, I did a collaboration video with him, and in the video he referred to me as Vivid, and it was the first time anyone that I've talked to, I guess, has ever referred to me as sort of like my online moniker, and it threw me for the biggest loop in the world. It was something that I, I don't think I was mentally prepared for. It was it was really cool, honestly. Like, it was really cool being able to sort of interact with someone and go by this name that, or this like tag, this like online presence that you've associated with yourself. I, I really liked it, I'm, I'm not going to lie. So. Uh, we should name this one pod, and it evolves into a giant bug creature, and we're gonna name it Clover, because it kind of looks like the monster from Cloverfield, and also I'm pretty sure the monster from Cloverfield was a female. It, it, at least I think it laid a bunch of eggs, I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to name it Cloverfield, because Clover is a much better nickname, but that's that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, we're gonna send this thing straight to the box. 
I really, like, I already have the water bug Pokemon. Oh, what do you have here? A big pearl. Yo, that's cash. That's cash money. Why is this Wimpod just, like, running around with all the swag? Um, I already have the water bug Pokemon that I want to use on my team, so I, I don't see a reason in, like, adjusting that, really. Uh, is there a hidden item here? Yeah, there had to be. Look, it's, there was, that rock might as well say hidden item on it. Can we get up this? Like, I, w I want to, oh, uh, well, I hope we can sort of do what we need to do. I kind of thought we'd be able to crawl in that hole. I, I did not anticipate this, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is my least favorite Diglett. I know there's only two Diglets, but it's my least favorite one. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you that this is my least favorite Diglett? I just hate its stupid hair. It's stupid hair. Like, the the sort of, like, the core around Diglett, that's cool, you know? Like, that they added that into it. But this stupid Diglett's hair and the stupid Doug Trio's hair, you ruined a perfectly good Pokemon, honestly. I, I like all the Alolan forms. Maybe not better. Oh, that's cool. Uh, maybe not better than their originals, but I at least really, really appreciate them. Um, like Persian, I like better, but I, I'm... The Alolan Persian's growing on me. At first, I hated it with all that I am. And now it's growing on me. I, I cannot lie to you. I cannot lie. I just realized, did we ever catch a Stuffle? I feel like we didn't. I feel like we did not catch a Stuffle. How rare is this stupid stuffed animal? Also, saying the word Stuffle reminds me that I just filmed a Fight or Give Up video, which is sort of a series that I, I, I want to like pick back up. I've only recorded one episode before this more recent episode. And the more recent one was a Pokemon Sun and Moon special, so I only uh, sort of commented on Pokemon from Sun and Moon, and Stuffle came up. And I, I think that the video is really entertaining, so just consider this a self-plug. Maybe I'll put a card up. There's, there's going to be a card. Uh, let's see. Where, my hand's going that way, so it'll be over that way somewhere. I think that's how it works on the layout. I'm not entirely sure. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't direction right now. I've got to destroy this mud bray. Wow, it's gonna be really embarrassing if I forget to put a card up uh, post production. It's get, it's gonna be pretty bad. I'm I'm gonna do it. Don't don't let me forget. Someone, if if I forgot, comment in the comment section that hey, you forgot to put a card up. Also, why are you drinking out of a pink mug, Vivid? Uh, well, because my tea's in it, and I found this in my house. I don't I don't need your judgment right now. Okay, let's focus on the game. Got to focus on the game. I keep getting off track. I keep talking to you guys about everything but this game. And you're probably all just like, shut up, we don't care that you're drinking out of a pink mug. It's 2016, you can drink out of whatever mug you want. As long as it doesn't say 666 Hail Satan on it, we're good. <laughs> uh, what is this TM gonna be? Brutal Swing, I don't know what that does. I have absolutely zero ideas. I'm assuming it's, okay, I have to, is it a Diglett? If it's a Diglett, I'm gonna be mad. If it's something slightly cooler than a Diglett, I'm gonna be, I'm mad. I'm mad. Remind me to never run into a dust cloud ever again. No dust clouds in North America. Those are the worst dust clouds. I could be leveling up my Araquanid. Is that is that the Pokemon on my team that needs the most work right now? Uh, actually, no. You know who has? Oh, my team. My team is damaged. This is something I didn't know. Uh, Glow. Glow needs to come through. You know, I kind of, I kind of wish that I would have given Glow the same nickname that I gave the first Merlot Lycott when I decided, like, oh, I'm gonna go. Why did I do this to myself? When I said I'm gonna go catch another one because I'm really anal about having useless, useless abilities. Like, I would not catch a Grimer because Grimer's two abilities are. I think Poison Touch and Gluttony, and I will not have a Grimer with Gluttony for my playthrough. That's like the one thing that I'm absolutely, absolutely super anal about, is if I'm going to use a Pokemon in the playthrough, its ability cannot be trash. It just can't. And Morlul's other ability is Illuminate, and the last thing I want is to run into more Pokemon while I'm walking through, through I was about to say Glass. When I'm walking through Glass, I would probably be okay with running into more Pokemon, because my life is already in a bad enough spot as it is. Did we? Okay, I was about to say, did we miss somehow? I would be really upset if we missed our Mega Drain. I, I forgot, I'm a mushroom Pokemon. I'm the slowest thing possible. I think if you look up a definition for 
slow plant species. So, mushrooms aren't plants, they're fungus. That's a, that's a, that's a thing. If you look up the word slow, I'm sure you'll find a picture of a mushroom somewhere or other. That's more or less what I was trying to get at. So I think we have to fight everyone on this route to fight the, like, power trainer Mr. Man. There's a Mr. Man power trainer somewhere around here. I'm super tired of running into this bird. If we could get uh, something besides a bird on my screen, that would be great. I, oh, I'm not going to be able to get away, am I? Oh, we, we did it. We did it. I don't care that I'm a slow, slow mushroom. We got away from that speedy bird. Okay, here I go. Where are you going, though? So I kind of doubt we're gonna make our way to the Kahuna today. Kahuna Olivia? Is it Olivia? She's the she's the Kahuna that's uh, kind of thick. You know what I mean? Like T H I C C double C thick. Um. Oh man, I am not making myself look like the most intelligent human. Um. Oh, we don't have. We can't touch this Gumi. No, we cannot. Let's switch out to Ariel. Ariel can one-shot this Gumi, 100%. Phytinium Z, uh, Brick Break, go. So, I, I doubt we're gonna make it to the Kahuna today. I really do. There's always, it seems like there's always some, like there's always like a transition episode. This is this is what we're gonna call the transition episode, more than likely. Uh, I don't see us making it to the Kahuna this episode, when more than likely we are probably going to, uh, we're probably gonna get close. <laughs> if we do, we're probably still not going to take her on, because I doubt we get there in the next, like, six minutes, and I need ten minutes for the battle, because I have to sit and strategize and think about what I'm going to do. Oh, man. So, have you... What, something that I've been meaning to ask, sort of, when I'm doing these videos, is have you been uh, either, A, um, doing any aspect of competitive battling, be it, like, singles, ubers, like, OU, VGC, battle spot, whatever. Have you been doing competitive battling in this generation? And if so, what's your experience with it? Because I've been doing basically only VGC so far, and it has been actually incredible. Also, how are you gonna go from a Gumi to a Sylveon? A Gumi to a Sylveon. What is what is your life right now? Oh man, I'm assuming the Sylveon cannot kill Ivan from where he's at. He's only weak to ground, I'm pretty sure. That. I'm pretty sure that's Ivan's only weakness in the world, is ground. So. We will eat up a special hit from this thing, probably. And we should one-shot, most likely. Yeah, okay, we live, we live. I'm not even, I don't even have to look. I mean, I hear the, I hear the stupid like, oh, your Pokemon's injured, you should take him to a Pokemon Center, you're a bad Pokemon trainer. I hear that noise in my head right now, and that's how I know. Okay, so we're gonna, we're probably gonna poison stall this thing out because I have to heal. No, another poison won't kill. Well, we can't live another Swift, so we're definitely healing. Oh man, why couldn't I have just taken my dudes to a Pokemon Center? Could have just taken my dudes to a Pokemon Center. I hope there are no other trainers on this route, because I would like to go fight the sort of like I don't know what to call them. They're like power power trainers on a route. I don't know. I, I think there's probably a word for them. I just don't know it. All right, let's switch into someone else to get like a little bit of experience. Uh, Glow can wait. Was Glow already out? I don't think so. I think we switched into Ivan beforehand. So this will just make the experience spread more favorable. We're not gonna die to anything. Glow's relatively bulky. Also, I probably should have looked, I probably should have or should look up when Glow evolves at. I don't know if there's a move that maybe I should hold out for. Uh, that's something to note, is that sometimes Pokemon only learn moves when they're in their pre-evolved form, and I should probably look those things up. I don't wanna, you know, go in with a team that's half-cocked whenever I finally get to the Elite Four. Is this gonna be a good item? It's a Hyper Potion. Wow, what a Hyper item to find. Get it? Hyper Potion? Hyper? I'm a comedian. Uh, I really don't know where I'm supposed to be going now. I think I just realized that just now. I know I'm supposed to be making my way to the Kahuna eventually, but I don't know where that is. I don't know in what direction. I couldn't get away from a Caterpie. I could not get away from a Caterpie. Yo, Caterpie learned String Shot. We talked about this last episode. Caterpie could be busted in VGC. Slap on an Eviolite, have it learn String Shot. You, you have a, like, speed-reducing demon on your hands that's going to survive all the hits. And by all the hits, I mean it's probably going to survive one resisted hit. Realistically, Caterpie's stats are garbage. Oh, this is making me wish that 
This was not a thing. This is making me wish that this stupid mushroom was any kind of fast. Alright, Glow, last chance. Okay, thank god. I feel like it's always it's always right when I'm about to be so fed up that I will release a Pokemon. <laughs> or do we need to fight you? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's get it over with, youngster. <clears throat> Alola, I'm Caleb. Let's give each other a look at our Pokemon. I guess. It's kind of a it's kind of like a weird thing to say, Caleb. Youngster Caleb. You can have a Rattata? All youngsters should have Rattata's charge a bug. Okay. You have the bus. That is what we refer to our charger bugs as, the bus. Look at this thing. You hop on the bus to take a ride to victory. All right, well, we have to switch. There's actually not a lot of things that are super effective against this dude. Oh, we have, no, that doesn't work either. Pluck's probably fine. Whew, that was a weird yawn. Pluck's probably fine, but it's not, it's not super effective. It's resisted because this dude's part electric. That's an interesting typing, electric bug. I realized that we had, uh, I was about to say Grubbin, because it was the other one. I realized that we had Joltik and Galvantula, but I feel like they never really, I feel like they never really got the love they deserved until they got Sticky Web. Once they got Sticky Web, it was more like, it was kind of, Sting learns Acrobatics? I don't even know if we win the damage race here. Um, once Joltek and Gaventula got Sticky Web, then suddenly, you know, they were in the underused tier of, like, as far as smoke and tearing goes, and they were considered good in that tier. This thing kind of wrecks us. This is weird. But, uh, I mean, I can't imagine that the that Vicavolt is going to be used more than Galvantula. I think Galvantula is just a better Pokemon. What is it? What else is this thing weak to, though? That's fire. It's weak to fire types. My team has very minimal type coverage. Let me tell you that right now. My team's type coverage is bad. I've got like six bug types on my team, 17 water types, three or four fairy types. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but my coverage is bad. I, I realistically could create a better team, but I'm not gonna. And I'm not going to because I, I like these Pokemon. There, there's probably, I mean, I want to use a Drompa. So when I catch a Drompa, I'll probably use that. I, I don't know what else like I would want to like slot in now. Oliver's gonna evolve relatively soon. I feel like Oliver's getting a little bit too far ahead of the pack. I wish that I could turn off experience share for just him. Because if I could, then the rest of the team could kind of catch up. Because I don't know, okay, so this is happening now. Thank you. I should have looked up if you have moves that I need, but eh, we're just gonna let it happen. Yo, I have my two favorite Pokemon from this generation on my team right now. And I think whenever I say favorite Pokemon, I never really include like legendaries in, in that metric. Like in my top 10 favorite Pokemon, there are legendaries that I like better than some of those Pokemon, but I don't include them because to me they're in like a separate tier. Like I would do a top five favorite legendaries for that or mythical, whatever the terminology is, top five favorite rare Pokemon, like things that are mythical and have a base stat total of like 570 or higher that aren't pseudo legendaries. I feel like I'm making too many, like too, I'm setting too many parameters at this point. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so our glow is our glow is live. We have a Shinotic. All right, let's see, let's see what this thing's data is. Oh, Rotom's gonna Rotom's gonna flip his lid. He's gonna talk about Bingo. This little dude's about to talk about Bingo. I guarantee it. Oh, Bingo! Nailed it. It emits flickering spores that cause drowsiness when its prey when its prey succumb to sleep. This Pokemon feeds on them by sucking their energy. Yo, this dude is not playing around. Doesn't he learns like a really sweet move, right? No, no rad evolution move, because this Pokemon's the only Pokemon in the game that learns like it's like Power Sap or something like that. Oh my god, did we already battle you? Thank God, I was gonna be upset. Oh, okay, yo, weird. Oh, did we go down a ledge that maybe I shouldn't have? Or no? Yeah, unclear. No, we're just back to where we came from. I hope there was not another trainer on this route because I, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to put up with it. Fight me. Trial guides, that's what they're called. Are you kidding me? I'm one of the trial guides and my particular duty is to test trial Let's see if we can beat all the rainers on. Oh, I'm, I'm mad. 
All right, let me. Yeah, I want. I really want to make this happen. Can I fly back to a specific area on Akala Island? Okay. Pokemon Center, Brooklet Hill. Uh, what is this? Fly to Lush Jungle. Yes. That should take me roughly where I need to go. And then I'm going to be back on Route 5 to find another trainer to square up against, I think. I feel like it would have been a really cool feature if you could have sort of fought trainers in the sky. Like, you know, there were sky battles in the last one. Like, what if, like, every... One out of every three... I don't know, something... One of every... Th Three would have been too high of a number. It would have gotten annoying. One of every 15 times you flew, you, like, randomly came across, like, a trainer who wanted to have a battle on the sky. Like, you're both sitting on the back of Charizards, just duking it out in midair. It'd be cool, right? I think it'd be cool. Alright, I need to look up this dude's moveset. Where's my... Where's my trusty iPhone? It's it's not within arm's reach. Um, I, I could also... Alternatively, I could... Try to serve this on my computer, but my my keys clack a lot. How do you feel about my keys clacking? Let's 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 take it for a spin real quick. Let's take uh, my keys clacking for a quick spin. Okay. So Cerebi. Aerial grew to level 25. Wants to learn the move Dizzy Punch. This move's bad, right? I I think this is yeah. This is like Gen One trash. Oh, never mind. Trying to hit rhythmically. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, I don't think that's what I meant to do. I probably could have gotten rid of something to give it, give Ariel Dizzy Punch. Uh, maybe it wasn't the best idea. Where, oh, did I just mess up again? Where is there another trainer I need to fight on this route? I'm so confused. All right. No. Ooh, I'm upset. Color me upset. Alright, I'm still, still in the process of looking up Shinodic's moveset, because I want to know when this dude learns, uh... Why are there Fromantis here? That's not new. Or, that's not new. That's not normal, is it? Is it something that... Maybe that... Maybe it's just in that patch of grass. I we... Because this is the part of the route we've already been on. I'm so confused right now. I just want to battle this idiot, and he's not letting me do it. And it's upsetting me. Is this a trainer that we haven't fought? Pokemon Cinema. Okay, no. This dude. Is it this dude right here? Is it is this dude right here the one that's ruining my life currently? I feel like I've said this before, but every time I run into a Lillipup, I feel like it's shiny. I feel like all Lillipups look shiny. I don't know what a shiny Lillipup looks like. I, I've just come to that conclusion. I have no clue what a shiny Lillipup looks like. This dude needs to learn a fairy move immediately. Alright. There are not many Pokemon in this generation. Game Freak. Add more Pokemon. Little Pup called for help. Oh, I'm so upset right now. Dude, please don't show up. Please don't show up. Okay, good. You showed up. And we can't run away because we're a Shinodic. Oh, we just barely missed the KO, too. All right, I'm going to Mega Drain. It's a level 13 Little Pup. It should one shot, hopefully. All right, let's see. Uh, 26, you're going to learn Confuse Ray. That's bad. 31, you get Giga Drain, so there's a little bit of power there. And then 35 is Strength Sap. That's the one I was talking about. You got Poison? Why did you get Poison? Why couldn't the other one get Poison? Has the other one even moved yet? Okay, never mind. It's going to kill you either way. Okay, good. So now all we have to do is dodge this dude calling for help again. And then we will end his life and we can be on our way. Please, please miss. Like, please whiff. Please whiff. Whiff. Oh. Well, you, you win some and you lose some and I'm losing this one hard. I'm losing this one hard. Ooh. Okay. Let's, let's regain. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Jeez. Sorry. Knock on wood that we'll get away even though we didn't. Okay. Oh. My entire life is over right now. This is ending my entire life. Please get away. Thank you. Whew. Okay. You. Fight me. It so, was a weird sound, right? I feel like he went... Boom. 
All right, let's go Breeder Cory, the one who has been eluding me, keeping me from fighting the trial guide goer man. I guess I just didn't explore this part of the route because I don't remember there being a berry tree on Route 5 at all. I just don't. All right, we have to switch to a different Pokemon. I forgot that my team is still in shambles. <laughs> I have to get all of these dudes to a Pokemon Center ASAP. Let me, let me let me stretch my back real quick. I need to I need to stretch my back. Realistically, what I need is a chair that doesn't murder my back. I need to invest in a chair that I can sit in at this computer desk and not want to end my life. Did we just get fully parried? We did. Whew. Okay, good. Yo, Paris is slow because we are paralyzed. Well, we're also 13 levels ahead of this Paris. 13 or 14. I shouldn't be like, oh man, we really got this Paris. Spinarak. Okay, let's let's uh let's bring out Ivan, and we are going to hit it with a what's our bug to, or bug? What's our dark type move? I feel like it's bite. Is it bite still? Or is it Thief, maybe? I think it's Thief, actually. Yeah, we learned Thief so that we can steal... Uh, I need to I need to sit and like just grind using Thief on Cubones so that I can get a Thick Club. Because Cubone needs a Thick Club to be good, essentially. Cubone and Marowak both. Alright, let's, uh, let's make our way downtown. Let's walk fast. Face is passing. I'm really glad a Crabrawler did not pop out of these berries because that would have upset me. That would have upset me a lot. I'm just trying to go battle this stupid dude and like be done with it. Be done with him. I feel like I've done a lot of nothing this episode. Let's uh let's extend this episode an extra 10 minutes. An extra 10 minutes than what I normally like to go. I normally like to end my episodes at like 30, 35 minutes. Let's let's go for the 40, 45 mark. Because I feel like if not, we're not getting we're getting absolutely nothing done, essentially. So let's we're, we're gonna this is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. If you if you followed along up to this point, keep going. Okay. Where are we? Where's this dude out? Alright, I'm assuming he's gonna give us something cool. You were able to beat everybody in Route 5. Yeah, dude, come on, just fight me already. I'd be happy to. I will show you my Z-ring, I guess, maybe. I don't know, man. So wait. If I Z-move Mega Drain, do I heal? Because Z-move Power Punching does not raise my attack. So does Z-move Mega Drain heal me? These are these are the questions that keep me up at night until I... Oh, thank God, it's a Slowpoke. Until I actually, you know, like, do it. And then, <laughs> then I know. I'm just waiting to run into a Wild Shiny on camera. I, I, I just saw how, like, Shinodic sparkled when she entered the battlefield. I think that's because she's in a Luxury Ball. I'm, I don't think just every Pokemon sparkles when it comes out, does it? Yo, this dude has a Z-move? Oh. Okay. Well, that's a thing. It's also not the water one. Okay. I feel you, big dog. This isn't... Incredible. That animation is powerful. Also, that was a crit? You should be embarrassed of your entire life. Your entire life. Get out of here. What's your name, dude? Because you're bad. You're bad at this game. I understand it was a Z-move confusion, but it should have done a lot more than that for being a crit. Also, we just got the confusion hacks. Okay, let's just click this Mega Drain. And we're gonna, we're not, we're gonna break through confusion. We're not. I'm awful at this game. I used to be a professional Pokemon player, but my heydays are over. I, I can no longer show my face to the Pokemon public again. We're, we're breaking out of confusion right now, though. Right now. This is my return to the scene. Told you. Didn't even have to look. It's in my ear, that's why. Don't let me fool you. Don't let me, uh... Don't let me make you assume that I knew what was happening. I can hear it in my ear. Okay. Branson, is that your name? Ugh. Branson, Branson, Bronson. It was one of those. It was bad. Alright. 
So, what's he gonna give me? Is he gonna give me the Psychic Z Crystal? No, never mind. Where do I get that? Where, where, can I have the Psychic Z Crystal? You have it. And you're just a rando. You're like a, you're a bad character. Uh, nature Power is actually pretty interesting in this game, since, uh... Also, I have no clue where I should be going right now. Um, what I was saying is... Hey, Vivid, how's it? Oh, are we about to battle how? I'm not in the mood for your crap, dude. I'm not. I just finished up Mallow's trial, you know. Phew, the Mallow special of hers was just about good enough to break the mouth, eh? You heading down to the Dimensional Research Lab? You just gotta keep going straight away that way. Maybe I'll catch you there later. Oh, thank God. I feel like there's an item over here that I missed. No, this is the, the breeding center. There's an item, maybe I got it. Is it that? Can I get that right now? Yeah, the Amulet Queen. That's what I was looking for. Okay. I read that in my game guide, actually. I, I figured that one out by reading my game guide. So where's the Dimensional Research Lab? Also, where's the Pokemon Center? That's what I really need right now. Route 6. Have we been here before? Yeah, clearly. That dude didn't fight us. Yeah, okay. I feel you. Because that this over here is the Battle Royale area. Okay. Uh, should I fight this idiot? Probably. She looks dumb. She looks like she's stretching awkwardly in public. I think you need to train your Pokemon. I think you need to train your mouth to watch what you say to me. Oh, you think because you're pretty? You think because you're a beauty, Brittany? I've got news for you. You can't mouth off to me. I'm gonna decimate your Cubone. Yo, how low is my HP right now? Don't make me look dumb. All right, we live in whatever you do. We live in whatever you do, and we're one-shotting, guaranteed. Oh, we outspeed you? Get out of here with your trash! It was level 17. I keep getting really excited about these random outspeeds, but realistically, my team's just kind of higher than your average NPC. All right, all right, yeah. Don't ever talk to me like that ever again. Next time, I won't be so gracious. There is a hidden item right here, right? Oh, there's we, we can Tauros through this, though. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Bop! Okay, so it's it's right here. A rare candy. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, bop, bop. Anything else? Uh, I wonder what's on this route. What, what route are we on right now? I think we changed routes, no? Well, we were running into Trumbeaks for a while. And now we're running into Picky Packs again. So life is getting exponentially worse for us. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's get out of here. Please just get away safely. Okay, good. That was good. That was good. That wasn't a waste of time. That wasn't a waste of my... How much damage does this thing just do to us? Oh, we're killing it. We're killing it. We're mega draining it to death. It's asleep. We can use this experience. We're, we're, we're deading you. You're going to come down as a serious case of the dead. It might take three mega drains, but you're going to die. I don't know why I assumed it would take... Oh, it was a crit, to be fair. I think crit mattered. I think it was at least a two hit. Because you resist. You resist pretty hard. Also, I'm not entirely sure that our special attack stats are that great. I do not think it is. Alright, what are we doing on the Tauros now? So, the Dimensional Research Lab's just down here, yeah? I feel like there's probably an item up here that I can get in this patch of grass. There's probably an item in this patch of grass. No? Just kidding. Alright, cool. Well, at least there is a Hula Dancer that we can fight. Alola, Alola, welcome, trainer! See, at least she was nice. At least she didn't walk up to me and say, Hey, I think you need to train your team. Yo, I like her flower crown. She kind of reminds me of an Oricorio. She's the blue Oricorio that we deserve. Okay, so I nailed that one. <laughs> I, I guess I should have assumed, since she was a dancer, that yeah, she has an Oricorio. Alright, we've already learned that um, when we're seven levels ahead of something, we can just kind of go for broke. That did a lot of damage. I forgot Oricorio's base stats are higher than a. Okay, yeah, let's let's get out of here immediately. Oricorio's base stats are relatively decent since it's a standalone Pokemon. All right, yeah, my team, my coverage is bad. Let me talk to you about how bad my coverage is. I this is weak to flying. 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 My entire team gets bodied by flying type Pokemon. Oh my goodness, I have to I have to change something. I can't do this forever. We're just gonna come against a bird keeper and get our like we're just gonna get blown back. 
Oh man, I just realized that. I just realized that when I was like, what can switch into an air cutter? Oh, surprise, my entire team's trash. Oh, this thing's... This is the psychic one, I should have used Thief. It would have been super effective. This is probably still gonna kill, but we could have just played smart. Is This isn't gonna kill, or Grow's stats are too good. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. Whew. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not coming off like the professional I am. I promise, I promise to you, I'm a professional Pokemon player. You just have to trust me. You have to trust me. Where is the Dimensional Research Lab after this? That's the big question here. That's the big question at hand. And will I be able to battle Olivia as soon as I get there? That's also, that's the bigger question at hand. All right, Dancer, we're done with you. What was her name, Mika? It was something nice, it was a nice name. Okay, so... Oh, looks like the flag is right over yonder. This is a weird place to be. <laughs> Go, Nebby! You, you splash! Why? Oh. <laughs> Why would you want your little Nebby dude to use splash? Pew! Huh. I was just acting like I was vivid. Don't don't mock me. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby, so I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought that I would want to be one myself, but when I see Vivid and how- No, don't don't lump us together. You either like me or you don't. If you if you want to be Bay, you gotta start acting like Bay. Is this thing gonna pew? Pew! <laughs> question mark. Pew question mark. It's not often that we get the question mark. Oh. Oh, 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 hi, Vivid. I wasn't talking about you like I want to marry you or anything, but there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions. Did you know that? And the professor is waiting to meet you. Uh, how, how are your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. I was, it wasn't that bad, actually. We took about a week off. <laughs> Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Akala Island's trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content and understand and understood by Shinodic there, I mean... I mean, walk away. Okay, well, that's one way to be awkward. Off to the Dimensional Research Lab. I'm assuming that's what this is right now, right? I, I'm assuming that's what this is. The Dimensional Research Lab, talk to me. You're going to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? Anyone can tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. Oh, well, that was clever. Hey, do you want to give me something? Dimensional Research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about. Super rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. All right, so we're talking about Hoopa. You, you, you had me at Hoopa. Okay, so we have to interact with the actual, like, up button? I don't think that's, I don't think that's standard. Third floor. We can't go to the second or, second? Yeah, we just can't go, we we're on the first. What's up, cousin? Oh, honey, ooh, Kakui's got a girl? Oh, hi. This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the D Dimensional Research Lab, yeah? And she's also my wife. Yo, Kakubi's married. You're vivid, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm. No how today. How? He's out doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hala before him. You really think so? Oh, this dude showed up. Is this going to be cutscene McGee for the rest of the episode? Whoa! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to, s um, good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Vivid here because I wanted to tell you about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. <laughs> it's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens up in the sky over Alola. It appears that this lift re li this lift reads this rift leads to a different unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. Bow! It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra, Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to know how much is true. 
But if I were, but I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the ultra wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Okay, so are we kind of done here? Is do you want to tell me anything else? We recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in the books you find on the bookshelf in the lab. Yeah, uh, like, do I have to? Should I? Giratina. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I know Giratina is like the upside down world. Bronzong. That's one I didn't know. This is kind of cool, actually. Uh, can I not interact with these bookshelves? What, what's this? Po -po -po is that an Oricorio? No, it's a Slowpoke. So is that it? Just Giratina, Bronzong, and Palkia? Uh, okay. I mean, I feel like there could have been like a little bit more variety, because... That can't be it, right? You use the verse recorder, blah blah blah. I mean, let me just see if anyone in here wants to give me anything. Nope. No, you're the versus recorder, dude. I thought I talked to the other one. Okay, what about you? Yo, is there a hurricane going on in the back? It looks like there's a hurricane on that screen. Pretty sure there's a hurricane. It's probably a hurricane lily. We're not starting blah blah blah. Alright, well. Hey there, Vivid. Go see what you can learn from everybody. I already I just did that. Literally just now. I talked to everybody in this building, right? No? We've recorded. Okay. Okay. I feel you, big dog, but like, I've been there, done that. Okay. Uh, the mini writings about interdimensional zone between reality exists. This looks like a special book. Oh, okay. So, is that all you wanted me to do? No. I'm super confused. Maybe I, I haven't talked to Lily, but she's always. Okay, good. This is who I had to talk to. That makes sense. This is who I need to learn from in the building. I feel you. You want to know what happened three months ago? Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby, I mean Cosmog, so I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all, and then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And then she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like a real mother to me. So Lily has mother problems. She has mommy issues. Okay, so we can leave now, right? How about that, Vivid? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You know what I think, cousin? You've finished all three of Akala's trials. Woo! Now it's time to get the big match against Olivia, the island Kahuna. The biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Coney. Coney City. I had to think about how to pronounce that for a minute. But watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Okay, awesome. So, uh, this is where we're going to end this episode, actually, because this looks like the perfect spot to leave off on. So, if you have followed me throughout this whole episode, I just want to say thank you so much. And if you're enjoying the series or you're enjoying what I'm doing on this channel, please just go ahead and obliterate that like button down below. It means a lot to me, and it lets me know that I should really just, like, push harder and keep going. And if you're new here or you're just kind of lurking around on my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button, because realistically, all that's going to happen is you're going to see my face more often, and let's be serious, that's a great thing. And with that being said, I'm kind of done here, and i got to leave. Alola! I can never take myself seriously when I end an episode by saying Alola. Like, I can do it at the beginning of an episode, I just can't do it at the end. i got to just, bye. i got to go. Bye.